بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعده We have another question that says how your students can navigate sectarianism in the West and perhaps other contemporary issues I think sectarianism is one of the contemporary issues and maybe other contemporary issues tell, tell us يعني, tell us everyone actually tell us what other topics but please cho choose carefully and try not to be stupid يعني, everyone can be stupid sometimes try to be your best and to um, uh, employ your critical thinking skills and not to be stupid uh, please um, sectarianism in the west i've experienced I've, i have very uh, or I, I had a very harsh experience uh, because of because of something like this so in the west we have muslims but they're not just muslims and they're not just sunni and shi'i muslims they're not just hanbali hanafi maliki and shafi'i muslims they are other things so you are a muslim and you are hanbali I believe you belong to the Hanbali Madhab and to your Hanbali brothers where you are if there are any Hanbali brothers there or Hanbali Mashaykh or Hanbali students of knowledge yeah but it's let's say there are but no you are black so this is something you are black and you belong to the black Muslim community why is there a black uh, community of the Muslim why is, do we have something like this in our religion? Uh, one person told me when I said my opinion, when I said my my opinion, my Sharia opinion, not my personal opinion as Yusuf, my Sharia opinion on something based on the Hanbali Madhab, he said, uh, you do, with all due respect, Yashik, you do not know our problems because he is black and he was talking about the fact that they are black. Th this is some sort of jahili, yeah? Even if, even when it comes from black people, yes, because the Islam never differentiated, never discriminated, and as Muslims we live together, there is no difference. Most of the Muslimin do not pay attention to these things. Most of the Muslimin, thanks to Al Islam, do not pay any attention to these things. Black or white, and I'm not really sure this person who is an African-American person, supposedly. What are you talking about? Our problems or not our problems? You are discriminating against me. You, you imagine this? Arab, non-Arab. Brown, black, yellow, red, white. No difference. Um, we are not supposed to be sects based on anything if the sect is based on anything then the sect is wrong being Hanbali, Shafi'i, Maliki or Hanafi is definitely not sectarianism because this is a group of al madhahib one group the four are considered one group work together work together because they agree on everything that leads to the to these and they claim that this is al-haq but even then they work together and they respect the rulings of their brothers in the other madhahib this is very important for instance the Hanabila do not consider marriage without without a wali a valid contract of marriage without a wali without a guardian for a woman but if you are Hanbali Qadi and if you see a married couple and this is how they got married without a guardian you do not have the authority to to invalidate the contract or their marriage contract you do not have this because you respect what has been issued by a different mufti or a different qadi according to a different madhab this is very important it's not sectarian uh, it's not sectarianism to, to, to call oneself Athari in Aqeedah or Ash'ari or so because at the end of the day we live together, we coexist and this is one of the reasons why Al-Ilm develops or the practice of Al-Ilm develops is that we have different perspectives, different uh, viewpoints that allow scholars to 
contribute more and more to the development of the ilm of this deen yes even al mubtadi'a to that extent even al mubtadi'a like shia like al mu'tazila their existence is tolerated in in the islamic state it is tolerated even the non muslims but apparently with the non muslims you can never be we can never be one group yeah al mubtadi'a we can never be one group but their existence is something that we tolerate and when you respond to them you're not responding to them because we are one sect against another sect this is not very healthy in any islamic community but you are responding to their wrong positions they hold to the incorrect results they reach and so on Yani, you are trying to establish al haqq by refuting and forbidding the evil. This is how you see these things. Fortunately, we have a lot of people who come from different backgrounds in the West uh, whose cultures dictate that they accept this mindset. But unfortunately, we have other people who live in the West they come from different backgrounds and they do not really they they have been raised in environments that encourage them to uh, to act in in a in a sect, in a sectarian manner uh, this hanafi group versus the other hanafi group there are differences and there are there are a lot of problems but not to the extent that we are fighting and killing each other yeah it's a cultural thing apparently it's a, i can tell you i can give you yeah, 10 lessons about how islam encourages anything but sectarianism um, but after all if you want a solution if you want to see um, an effective way of dealing with these situations i think the first step is to realize that it is a cultural thing unfortunately the culture of the muslimin everywhere in the world is very bad different cultures maybe very bad very bad because they either come uh, from uh, like like they have been influenced by the heavy culture of thinking and looking at things or the uh, or the the culture of the muslims in the subcontinent whether they are al sunnah al jamaah or wahhabiya al sunnah al jamaah al shariya or wahhabiya or anything else uh, some third fourth fifth name or label that you find there or so I just want you to understand that the reason why I refute al Wahhabi most of the time is one of the most important reasons why I refute al Wahhabi most of the time is the fact that they have a great influence on people's cultures or people's culture, not on their religion culture. And I think this is uh, I think this is what I can say in uh, this. Uh, video and I um, I'm not sure how we solve this solution unless we change people we offer them an alternative alternative for the cultures that they have been sticking to for a very for a very long time Allah ta'ala a'lam wa sallillahum ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen